You know when you eat breakfast and then like 45 minutes to one hour later, you're already hungry again? That happens to me a lot. I find that what helps me the most to stay fuller for longer, especially at breakfast, is having a high protein breakfast. And I know that high protein diets are all the rage right now and I don't want to sound like some kind of wellness whatever, but I find that when I have a high protein breakfast, I'm way more likely to make it all the way to lunchtime without feeling snacky again. So I've been trying to incorporate more protein into my breakfasts. And one of my very favorite ways that I've been doing that lately is with this very simple and very just spot on, in my opinion, cottage cheese pancake recipe. These are so easy to make and you could just make them in the morning because they're that easy but I like to make them in batches and then keep them in the fridge or the freezer and then just throw them in the toaster oven or even the microwave in the morning and they're ready to go. In the blog post, I talk about a few different variations because these cottage cheese pancakes could really go in a number of directions. The way that I make them most often is just plain, unsweetened, so I don't add any sugar because that way I can have them in a savory application or a sweet application. And we all know if we're going sweet, we're probably putting a good amount of maple syrup on them. So they really don't need any sugar in the mix itself. All right, so here's how I make these protein pancakes. I start by combining some cottage cheese with an egg, a bit of milk. I like to use soy milk because I generally have it in my fridge for my tea, but you can use whatever milk you have on hand. Now I'm gonna be blending this mixture to smooth out the cottage cheese. The way I blend it is with a stick blender usually, so that's why I'm starting by putting everything in a measuring jug. But you could also just dump this all in a regular blender and then just blend it that way. And then once that's all smooth, I add a small amount of flour. I just use all-purpose flour. It's really not very much. It's just enough to kind of hold the mixture together and a pinch of salt, and then just some baking powder to give it some lift. Mix it all together, and just like with any pancakes, you don't really wanna over mix it. You don't wanna overwork the flour, cause that would make them tough. I do like to let this sit for about five minutes before I cook them, just to let the flour fully hydrate. And then while that's sitting, I heat up my favorite flat top griddle and throw down usually a little bit of coconut oil or a bit of avocado oil, whatever I have, but it's not necessary cause this thing is really nonstick. When it's just me, I make a small batch of this, which makes four good sized pancakes. I use a half cup measuring scoop to sort of measure each pancake as I go. But if I'm cooking for more people or I want a bigger batch, I'll just double the recipe. Today, I decided to double it because I know we're gonna go through these. And that's it. You can keep them in the fridge. You can keep them in the freezer. You can eat these pancakes in so many ways. You can just do the classic, you know, maple syrup, blueberries, spoonful of yogurt, that's all good. But sometimes for lunch, if I'm working from home and I need a quick lunch, I'll just heat up one or two of these pancakes and crack an egg or two on top, a little bit of hot sauce or salsa, and oh, it's such a nice lunch. You can also use them kind of like a taco shell, like just roll up something in them, like if you've got like a sausage or something that you wanna roll up in this, it's delish. So this is really just a kind of base framework kind of recipe that you can go wild with. Those kind of recipes are really what I wanna focus on more because, you know, depending on what mood you're in or what little extras you have lying around, it's nice to have that flexibility. So that's it for my super delicious, high protein cottage cheese pancakes. I hope you love them. The full recipe is on the blog. Let me know if you make them and how they turn out. And uh, I'll see you next time.